After six glorious seasons of Riverdale, it all comes down to this one grand finale. Will season seven answer everything the franchise has built up till now? And is there a reason the franchise is coming to an end so prematurely? Stick around and find out everything you need to know about the upcoming season of everyone's favorite series, Riverdale. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already, as it's the best way to support the channel. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started. Why don't you have a sink on it? In the meantime, get the hell out of my office. With the final countdown in progress, we draw near to the concluding seventh and final season of Riverdale after almost seven years of runtime. According to CW's CEO, Mark, this series 100% deserves a proper send-off, and he believes that season seven does just that. He also added that several members on the board were thrilled with the idea and worked their butts off to make sure the finale went the right way. Although it might seem frustrating for us to say goodbye to our beloved series, Mark, on the other hand, feels it was the right time to do so, based on a statement he made earlier in May 2022, where he said, I think they too felt that seven years is the right amount. As a fan myself, I do want to do what is right for the show. The term he used here probably refers to both producers and actors. One of them was KJ Appa, who shared his thoughts on playing Archie for the last time after so many seasons. Appa made this statement while the announcement was ongoing, saying, I'm sad to say goodbye to Riverdale next season to our sets, to our crew, to our producers, to our CW family. We are so grateful for everyone's support. Appa also did his best to comfort the fans by promising that season 7 will end with a bang. And based on the story so far, we hope it does. If you're unfamiliar with the concept of Riverdale, first of all, what have you been watching all this while? Second, I guess I can put you up to speed. Riverdale is a teen-based drama that premiered way back in 2017 on The CW. It centers around characters in the universe of the all-too-famous Archie comics. One thing that makes Riverdale stand out from the rest is the element of surprise we've come to expect from the series, some of which happened in season 6, where we got to see an alternate form of Riverdale characters. This special event ended up giving some of these characters mysterious powers in the aftermath of it all. KJ Appa even made a reference to this event in his interview with TV Line saying, I'm hoping that it comes down to him and me fighting, but I think it becomes a little more intricate than just a physical battle. There's a lot of dark magic. He's got powers. We've got powers. So it's very Harry Potter meets Stranger Things. The person he's talking about is most likely the season's villain. But honestly, a statement like that really leaves the fans with a lot to look up to, even though none of us are happy about the series coming to an end. As for when we can expect to see it on screen, the CW did confirm that mid-2023 will be the ideal moment to air season 7 of Riverdale, but they didn't give us any reference on how many episodes it will be in, so perhaps we might see a lot more or fewer episodes in the final season, but let's hope it's the later. I mean, it's only fair that we get more episodes to compensate us, right? But the big question still remains, why exactly is season 7 the last ride for the series? Well, reports suggest that the show was cancelled and a lot of fans saw it coming, especially after KJ Appa revealed way back in season 4 that both he and the main cast had had signed a contract to remain in Riverdale for the next three years. The main cast context here includes the likes of Cole Sprouse, Lily Reinhardt, and Camila Mendez. So assuming a new season was released every year since then, the math suggests that their contracts will expire by season 7. But from the looks of things, I don't think the fate of the series was decided by a bunch of expired contracts, even if they belong to the main cast. In fact, Riverdale's cancellation was just one among many other low-rated CW shows that met a similar fate in recent weeks some of which include shows like Naomi, 4400, Charmed, Dynasty, New Mexico, Batwoman, In the Dark, and Legends of Tomorrow. So CW is faced with a lot of problems, which unfortunately means a lot of shows need to go down. As for what could have caused all of these, unfortunately we don't know. It could have been money problems, or it could just be the aftermath of CW's unfortunate decline in the past months. Even Warner Media considered selling them back in January. So in a way, it's understandable that a brand facing these problems 
problems would want to trim a little fat. In hindsight of these recent events, fans were quick to voice their dismay over the show's cancellation, but a lot of them took to the positive side of things. At least they won't have to wait too long before seeing Betty and Archie take their relationship to the next level if they do end up together. Let's face it, we've all wanted that Barchi moment for a while now, so I don't think the producers have a say in this one. The pair have come a long way together starting from season 5 where their friendship took a romantic turn, and in season 6 where they got closer than ever. To be honest, this relationship was a long time coming and we aren't alone in that regard. Some fans have even gone to Twitter to voice their opinions on the whole Barchi possibilities, with one tweeting, I'll be losing Barchi forever but their endgame is definitely secured. Then another wrote the simple but elegant, Barchi endgame, here we come. Whilst the third fan also tweeted, Riverdale literally started with Barchi and it's going to end with Barchi, oh my god. KJ Appa even gave his thoughts on the possibility of a Barchi endgame. When he was asked if Jughead would reunite with his ex-girlfriend Betty, this is what Appa told TV Line, I wouldn't be worried about that, I don't think that's gonna happen. He also opened up about Archie's future with Betty even after his character already shared a kiss with Veronica in the previous season. In a statement he said, I think Archie's very much loving his time with Betty and imagining a potential future with her. I don't think the kiss meant anything more to Archie. Like I said earlier, the producers will have to make this happen if they don't want an 8th season or a Game of Thrones like ending that left us with endless questions. We know a lot of fans are still on the fence about how they feel about Riverdale coming to an end, but I think you'd be happy to know that a huge chunk of the original cast will be returning to reprise their various roles. So expect to see Abba, Reinhardt, Sprouse, Madeline, and others in the season finale. However, Ashley Murray did confirm earlier in May 2022 that she won't be reprising her role as Josie. The reason being is she's left the show to focus on a new character in another CW series called Tom Swift. I'd say it was probably for the best because these final moments require everyone's full attention. If it is to come outright, unlike Murray, other actors have already taken to social media to give us hope for a flawless season finale. One of them was Mendez, who tweeted, One more season to deliver the ending you all deserve. So much love for all the fans who were here since day one and never left. Wouldn't have made it this far without you. To be honest, it does feel good to see a lot of love around the Riverdale community. While the cancellation wasn't exactly a good thing, we should all still be happy that we are getting a proper send-off. Sure, the series didn't deserve to be cancelled, but look on the bright side. At least now, all the best upcoming moments of the show will be clustered into one. And with the good vibes the actors are working with, I believe season 7 will be everything we wanted. In the end, that's all that matters. So, what do you think about these new developments? Did Riverdale need a few more seasons before calling it quits? Or was the cancellation the right way to go? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want more amazing content just like this one. I will have more coming your way very soon, but until then, stay safe, drink water, and I'll see you later.